What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I think today's story probably takes the cake of some of one of the most insane stories I've ever read. Uh, I just cannot believe this is real. <laughs> And if it is, which it seems like it is, this is such an epic win beyond, like, all possible wins. Today's story is going to be funny, so stick around for this. If you are new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you are new and if I earned it, like the video, comment down below. And if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you follow me on Facebook. And let's get into the video, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so today's video comes to us from the Washington Post. And you read the headline. You read the title of this video. The headline says, A woman won a million euro Spanish literary prize. It turned out that she was actually three men. Three men! <laughs> three men won a woman's literary prize. Isn't that freaking nuts, man? Wow, this is just, oh, this is going to be great. The article says, the work of one woman was, it turned out, the equivalent of the labors of three men. That was at least the case for Spain's top writer of crime thrillers, a professor and mother who wrote under the pseudonym Carmen Mola, supposedly to maintain her anonymity. <laughs> ah, so you, you got three men who were writing books under the pseudonym of a woman's name. This is just epic, and they won the Woman's Literary Prize. Oh, man. Wow. I don't know. How how does it get better than this? It doesn't get better than this. It's impossible. The article continues to says, But on Friday night, at a ceremony to award the 1 million euro, which equates to about $1.1 million, Planeta Literary Prize to Mola for her historical thriller The Beast, three men ascended the podium and claimed the award instead. <laughs> Mola's gripping, often gory novels starring strong female protagonists have been likened to the work of Alina Ferrante, a pseudonym for a widely popular Italian writer. Mola is best known for a trilogy starring a peculiar and solitary female police inspector who loves grappa, karaoke, classic cars, and sex in SUVs, according to publisher Penguin Random House. That trilogy has been translated into 11 languages and is being adapted for television. Guys, can you imagine how wild it must have been when they announced this person's name at the award show and three men walked up onto the stage? For a woman's award, three men walked up to the stage. I I wish I was there. <laughs> that is just, that is the funniest thing to me. And so ironic because at the end of the day, can you really complain? Can you really complain? Because you guys set all this up. We play by your rules. This is playing by the rules set by society today. And it's so funny because it literally worked out for these three guys. They wrote books that they knew would be purchased more under the pseudonym name of a woman. And it's actually three guys. Now, what interests me is I wonder how is this going to affect the sales of their future work, if there is any future work. Because obviously they wrote these books under the pseudonym of a woman's name. So now that it's been exposed that it's three men and not an actual real woman, I wonder if the book sales are going to tank after this or if they're going to go up. I'm not sure, but uh, it's something to kind of keep an eye on because I'm curious as to how this is going to end. But let's continue. Last year, a branch of Spain's Women's Institute listed Mola's The Girl, a part of the trilogy, as one of the must-read books and films by women that help us understand the reality and experiences of women. And it was men who wrote this. This is crazy. Mola's latest work, The Beast, is a historical thriller centered on the murder of children in Madrid during a cholera outbreak in 1834. Except the writers spinning these tales were really Jorge Diaz, Augustin Martinez, and Antonio Marcero, established Spanish television scriptwriters in their 40s and 50s. Wow, this is like, this is beyond epic. I mean, this is such such an epic win for these guys. I don't even, I don't even know where to begin. This is crazy. The article says, Carmen Mola is not like all the lies we've been telling, a university professor Diaz said after winning the Planeta Prize, the Financial Times reported. We are three friends who one day four years ago decided to combine our talent to tell a story. The trio have said they chose the name by chance and for fun without paying any particular thought to the gender of the name or the possible implications. I don't know if a female pseudonym would sell more than a male one. I don't have the faintest idea, but I doubt it, Mercero told Spain's El País newspaper. 
We didn't hide behind a woman, we hid behind a name. Others disagreed. Like I said, I don't know if the fact that they have a pseudonym name for a woman helped them in any way regarding book sales. Um, one could argue that it did because they were specifically writing books for women. So if it was men writing the books, I don't know if they would have necessarily been purchased as much. Because people, you know, it's weird. People buy stuff based off the people who are creating it, not necessarily the content itself, sometimes. And you're going to have a lot of people, especially women, who will buy something strictly because a woman actually wrote it. But if that same book was written by a man, some of these women may not be inclined to buy it. So in that regard, maybe you have an argument. I don't know. You need to discuss that a little bit further and kind of hear both sides of the, of the argument, so to speak. But... I don't think that necessarily it would have affected their sales too much. I think if they would have just came out as who they were and wrote a story, I think that story, if it was good, would have been successful regardless. Um, especially, you know, I'm sure there's men who write women's uh, stories. I don't know if there's many, but I'm sure there is. Just like there's women who write men's stories. You know, it kind of goes both ways. So as long as you write a good story, all is well with the world. You know, and uh, like uh, J.K. Rowling, she wrote a story about Harry Potter, who's a man. And, uh, you know, in his life and his story, granted it was magical and stuff like that. But still, it's a woman writing about a man's experience. It could go both ways. So I don't really think it will really affect it. I just think the fact that they marketed themselves as a pseudonym women, I think that's really where the controversy is coming into play. Because a lot of these people thought that they were reading a woman's create, like creation and it turned out to be a man's. So... You know, modern day society, they hate that. They don't want to give men credit for anything. The world is built on the back of a woman, according to everybody. So even though it's nonsense because men built everything, but that's besides the point. I think it's really funny that this is actually what ended up happening. And I don't think anybody could have saw this coming. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> so I think this is pretty epic, actually. The article finishes and it says... Quite apart from using a female pseudonym, these guys have spent years doing interviews. Beatrice Gimeno, former head of the Women's Institute, wrote on Twitter after the awards announcement, It's not just the name, it's the fake profile that they've used to take in readers and journalists. They are scam. It hasn't escaped anyone's notice that the idea of a university professor and mother of three who taught algebra classes in the morning, then wrote ultra-violent, macabre novels in scraps of free time in the afternoon made for a great marketing operation. In the past, countless women have published under male pseudonyms to protect their privacy and circumvent commercial and social biases against female writers. In a further twist, The Beast was first submitted for consideration for the prize under a different pseudonym. The authors then attributed the work to Mola. The prize is awarded to an unpublished manuscript, which, as part of the terms, must be produced by Planeta Group's publishing house. The book is, out, uh, is due out next month, reportedly with Mola, listed as the author so they're gonna keep rolling with this and i don't blame them you know bad press is still press at the end of the day and i think they're gonna roll with this and see where it takes them and i'm curious to see if it does actually affect their sales or if it increases their sales who knows at the end of the day you never know but anyway guys that's gonna do it for today's crazy story i thought that was such a wild story i'm glad i brought it to you if you guys enjoyed it give me a like comment down below let me know what you think of the story if you're watching me on youtube subscribe hit that red button if you're watching me on facebook Follow me, join the journey, and I will see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.